Hello beautiful creatures of the world and welcome to my first story time video. So I thought I'd talk about the time that um, my friends and I got high pressure sailed at Mall of America. So okay, I'm gonna jump right into it. Um, my friends and I were at Mall of America, we're just shopping around, we're doing us, living our life, what, you know, whatever. Um, and this guy <laughs> stops us because we're walking and he's at one of those little kiosks in like the middle of the hallway. And he stops us. He, I'm with my friend Hannah and I'm also with another friend of ours named Beth. And so we're walking and he basically just grabs Beth <laughs> essentially and like sits her down and then starts talking to us, like making small talk, asking, you know, why we're at Mall of America, what brought us there, where we work, what we do, that sort of a thing. And then he's like, I have this like little hair straightener for y'all. This hair straightener. Okay, I should back up for a minute. He's like Italian or something. He has a very thick accent. He's very hard to understand. Um, he, like his English, his vocabulary was like developed. It just, it was hard to understand him. But anyway, um, and so he's making small talk with us. Then he's like, I have this hair straightener for you. And he starts straightening Beth's hair. And he's like, I can see that you really damage your hair. You use heat a lot on it, don't you? And she's like, no, I like never use heat. I always let it air dry. He's like, but you have a lot of split ends. Well, it's okay because this special hair straightener is designed to close up split ends, honey. And then I'm like, okay, girl, I'm going to call BS on that one right now um, because how can a hair straightener close split ends? Like, what the heck? Like, heat does the opposite of that. He's like, oh, lasers or something like that. It was really weird. And then he's like, and then, like, he sits Hannah down and starts pitching to Hannah. He doesn't pitch to me. He basically ignores me. Like, whatever. Guess I'm not here. Anyway, so I'm a little, like, salty towards him. I am, like, not happy with this guy. He goes off about how everything's made in China, but these are made in Italy, not China. So, like, Hannah and Beth are, like, mildly interested. I am, too, because I'm into having hair straighteners. I, like, do my friend's hair a lot. Then he tells us the price. He's like, okay, these are normally $600. But I'm gonna give them to you for half off, $300. And we're like, girl, we do not have that kind of money. We make minimum wage, okay? I mean, let's be real, $300, we have to work a month for that. Like, like a high school student, like, no, we ain't got $300. Like, what the heck? Do we look like the Dalai Lama? I don't know, did the Dalai Lama have money? I, I'm not sure. Do, do we look rich? Like, no, we don't have that much money. So he's like, okay, whatever. Because it started with him giving Beth and Hannah um, like, samples of argan oil. And that he, like, came up to us, gave him that, and then he kind of, like, grabbed Beth and sat her down. Anyway, so we're going on our way, and then our ride is here to pick us up, like, four or five hours later from Mall of America, so we're need to, we need to leave. And our ride is at, like, the other end of the store. So anyone who's been to Mall of America knows it's massive, obviously. It's the biggest mall in the United States, possibly even the world. Um, so we're, like, running, not running, but we're, like, very quickly trying to get to the other side of the mall. And then a guy who looks very similar to the one who pitched us um, the first time um, sat, well, he came up to us. It wasn't the same guy. And he gave us argan oil things, basically grabbed Beth and sat her down again. And both of these two guys, they're different, but they look very similar. Like they were brothers or something. They were selling the same hair straightener. They gave us the same pitch. They did the same thing. They Both of them said how Hannah and Beth look like sisters or twins or something. And I'm just like, yeah, I guess I'm just like a creepy stranger who's here with them whatever not salty and he pitched to both of them again and he's like you know what that's my brother i'm in competition with him he probably gave you a really bad deal like 300 dollars. i'm gonna give you a really good deal 100 dollars, okay and you know what if you buy from me right now i'll even take off 25 dollars. but you cannot tell anyone that because no one can know that i'm gonna give it to you for such a low price of 75 dollars. and like we had been shopping all day we have bags up the wazoo on our arms we like we spent all of our money we do not have 75 dollars, and he would not let us go like we had to leave but he like wouldn't like let us leave we would have to be very rude if we were going to leave and it's like he kept saying, okay, what do you think is a good price? What do you think is a good price? And we're just like, we're not playing hardball. We genuinely don't have the money for this. And he said something to me. This guy said something to me. Oh, why don't you get it? And you can straighten your armpit here. I'm like, no. Anyway, so we have to be like rude to this guy and leave and be like, sorry, we're not playing hardball, but high pressure sales suck. 
I think that's the point that I'm trying to get across in this video and it's just a story time so there's not a ton of point to it it's just an anecdote but I hope you enjoyed this story time thumbs up if you want more I have plenty more stories I have a very humiliating story that I could use as a story time sometime I'm also thinking I might do a January favorites not sure if that's gonna happen or not but anyway make sure to give this video a thumbs up anyway and leave a comment down there and also subscribe to become a beautiful creature of the world and I'll see y'all next time Love y'all, deuces.